God bless you, WME family, and welcome back. We're going to have an exciting time sharing God's word, sharing God's hope to all those who are watching. Thank you for, for, t for tuning in and for being part of this program. I have with me a very special guest. Uh, back with us, Daniel Davila, who is an evangelist who preaches the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Daniel, welcome to the program. Pastor Daniel Moore, thank you so much for having me. It is an honor and a privilege to be here, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited what God's about to do. I'm so excited yes. what God's about to speak, and I know that this morning God has a word for yes. all those who are watching, for all those who are about to watch, or later on in the future you watch this video. God has a word for you, and know, I know that God isn't going to encourage those people to stay motivated, to be encouraged, to be in faith, to be prayed up, and to keep going forward. And, and Daniel, it, it's a blessing to have you. It's always a blessing to have young men and women who love God with all their heart, who are not compromising, who are sold out for Christ. That's what we need today. We need people sold out for Christ. So many people who, who are who are uh, bowing down to the altar of the enemy. So many people who are compromising the gospel, they're preaching a watered down message. We need for young people to preach, the, the, we need for all who preach the gospel to preach a message of power, a message of conviction, yes. a message yes. of truth. And, and Daniel, you've been an evangelist now for many years. Yes, yes. God called you to ministry when you were 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And you started, you started preaching at mm -hmm. 14. Mm -hmm. And so uh, many years later, you're still preaching the gospel. And, and the Lord is using you greatly. I've seen a lot of your videos, and I've seen a lot of what God has done and what God is going to continue to do. And uh, about a year ago, something happens. Yes, yes. And we shared a little bit about yes. it on our last program. Yes, yes. You had a collapsed lung. Yes. And, and God uh, works in your life. He moves. Mm -hmm. You continue preaching again. Yes. And again, you have another collapse. Look. Yes. That and same year. That same year. Yes. That same year. And so you have this second collapse lung. Mm -hmm. But then you go back into preaching. You go back into ministry. Mm -hmm. You go back into sharing the word of God. And then again, you have another collapse yes. lung. Yes. What keeps bringing you back to the table? What br keeps bringing you back to, to share his message? And to, and to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just want to tell you this, Pastor Moore, that don't get me wrong, Pastor Moore, like, am I afraid when I get into a pulpit? Yes, I am afraid, because the third time that happened, Pastor Moore, they, they had to call the ambulance to take me out of the church and the bed. Everybody was watching. And that day I was preaching about God, about a God who was doing miracles, about a God that can restore that can still do miracles. And I realized that the one who needed a miracle was me. So the ambulance came and they took me out of the, out of the church and in, in the bed. And I was just so like ashamed, so embarrassed. And I felt that the enemy was mocking me, laughing at me, like, look at you, just look at you. You know, you're preaching about your God that does miracles, but look at you, you know, you yourself need a miracle. But I know deep inside of me, even though I was afraid, I feel like Jeremiah, there's still a fire inside of me. And, and like, Daniel, th that's a great point because I know there's so many people that are watching. Mm -hmm. They say, well, how can I preach the gospel when I have family who is lost? Or how can I, I talk about a God of restoration when my marriage is falling apart? Mm -hmm. But there is something in us that keeps us, this yes. is that passion. Yes. I love what the Apostle Paul yes. said. The Apostle Paul says, I am persuaded. Okay. I'm convinced. Yes, yes. Nothing is going to move me. Nothing is going to sidetrack me. And that was, that's what was in you, right, yes. at that time? Yes, yes. It's like Paul said on chapter Romans, chapter 8, verse 35. I said, can anything ever separate us from the love of Christ? Yes. Can anything separate us from serving God, from preaching the gospel? I mean, that is up to you if you want to be separated. But when you are determined, when you know that you serve God, you had an encounter with God no matter what, because, I mean, I mean, like Paul said, you know, for me, dying is it's something for me. But, you know, dying or living doesn't matter. I'm still serving God, you know, because I'm crucified with Jesus Christ. So I'm like, God, I want that passion what Paul had, you know. What can separate me from you, God? I mean, what's the worst thing that can come? Death? I mean, you defeated death. 
Jesus, you know? Right. So I'm more than a conqueror too, you know? So not only that, Pastor Moore, but like I said, like when I get on the pulpit, am I am afraid? Yes, I'm gonna be honest, yes. But deep inside of me, my convictions, my faith, what I know about God, the encounters that I have, I know that he's there to back me up because if he wasn't there, then I should have been dead a long time ago, you know? But when you have a purpose, when you have a calling, when you know what you're supposed to be doing, nothing can stop you. And it's like a little kid when he gets his first video game, he doesn't care, he doesn't want to eat, he doesn't want to go outside. All he wants to do is spend time in that video game. So that's what I have a passion that I, all I want to do is serve God with my, despite my conditions. I understand I have a lung collapse. I understand that I have things that I lost in life, but in spite of that, I still want to serve God with everything that I have, Pastor Moore, you know, to my last breath, you know, I want to get to an old age, say, you know what, God, thank you, God, because I gave you everything when I was young, and I also, I gave you everything when I was old. Whenever you're ready, God, here I am, God. Yes. But I do not want to leave by saying, what if? What if? I just want to serve God with everything that I have, Pastor that's Moore. Right. And there's that passion to serve God. Yes. There's that love for Jesus. And, and that's what we need. If you're going to serve God, serve Him all the way. If you're going to live for God, live for him all the way. You know, Daniel, I think of our, our native missionaries. We're mm -hmm. in some countries where, mm -hmm. where in, in some things we can't report, some things we can't uh, put on air here. Mm -hmm. And we've been limited on what we can show and what we cannot show. But we've had churches broken into. We've mm -hmm. had pastors beaten. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, uh, missionaries threatened. Mm -hmm. But they continue preaching. Mm -hmm. They continue sharing yes, God's love. Yes. Some of them, it's, it's a, it's a uh, heavy price they're going to have to they pay mm -hmm. for being faithful to God. And here we are with comfort. Here we are that's with, right, that's with right. uh, being taken care of, being pampered, and, and, and people still don't want to serve that's God. That's right, that's right. If you're going to serve God, I, I, I love Daniel's spirit because uh, he's passionate. Oh, and man, when you see him God. moving around, talking, preaching, shouting, it's because there's a passion inside of him. Mm -hmm. And that passion is the Lord Jesus Christ. That's to see people get saved see people get healed, see people get delivered. Yes. Daniel, we're going to come back because right. we want to hear what yes. happened. Here you yes. are being wheeled out of the yes. church. Yes. yes, You're being taken out. Your lung has collapsed for the third time, but you're back at it. Mm -hmm. Something made you yes. come back. Yes. Something yes. kept you going. Something uh, brought you back to the pulpit. Mm -hmm. And here you are today continuing to preach the yes. Word of God. So you don't want to miss it. We're going to come back with Daniel Davila, and we're going to share this powerful testimony. World Missionary Evangelism, through its wide variety of mission outreach programs, is an evangelical force in developing nations, and it all begins with native missionaries. All by Christ to do His work, our native missionaries are first and foremost soul winners. Often facing hostile opposition, they have the courage to reach out in compassion to the lost, sharing the good news with those in their communities. But that is just the beginning of WME's evangelistic programs. World Missionary Evangelism reaches children through vacation Bible schools and Christian schools. So even as we feed the hungry bodies of little ones, we also feed their souls. For almost six decades, WME has been building churches in both urban and rural areas. Most of these churches are used every day of the week and become beacons of light in the areas where they serve. Churches not only provide worship opportunities, but they also offer a community gathering point, education, child care, and even serve as feeding centers for the hungry. WME not only sponsors native missionaries, we train them. World Missionary Evangelism has local pastoral education programs for new missionaries and continuing education programs for those who have been in the field for years. WME also has Bible colleges that provide degree programs for those seeking a fuller knowledge of the Bible and Christian outreach. The evangelism in World Missionary Evangelism is not just a part of our name. It defines our mission, our focus, and is at the heart of everything we do. Thank you for watching World Missionary Evangelism's The Path with Daniel Moore.